and engineered solutions that improve efficiency, increase hydrocarbon recovery, and maximize production for the customer. It means that the customer will get more barriers with lower cost. My experience as a technician certainly helps. When I design a product, I look into the manufacturing capability as well as what the customer requires. This is how I ensure we can produce the equipment within the given constraint. There's a large component of technical nature to my scope, but really I see myself more of a big brother to the team here. I try to bring out the best in them in order for us to achieve our objectives together. I may be in procurement, but I do see myself as an engineer in a continuous improvement role where I constantly practice systematic thinking and knowledge of being an engineer to see how I can get parts to our customer on time with required quality and at the lowest possible cost. As a big MNC, there's many opportunities available. For myself, I have worked in Halliburton for three years and currently I'm in my fifth role, ranging from continuous improvement lead to procurement supervisor. There are plenty of opportunities in Halliburton and it's not restricted just in Singapore. When I was a fuel engineer, I got to work on the rig in Odessa and Williston. And the amazing part is that I got to see the tools in action. On top of that, I got to shadow account representative in Houston. There's an amazing experience as well because I got to hear firsthand from our customer about their needs. At Halliburton, um, engineers typically start off on a technical role. As they get into a senior or principal level, this is kind of where they branch off into a leadership position or a technical position, and this will be based on their competencies. Training program for new hires is very systematic. They typically start off in a classroom environment where we have subject matter experts from the US coaching them on the necessary training. I'm one of the mentors for new engineers here. So personally, I feel that being a mentor is a recognition from the team that I'm capable of teaching someone. The most rewarding part of being a mentor would definitely be seeing my mentee applying the knowledge that he has learned in his daily duties. The training culture here is very much that you own your career. As long as you are interested to learn and you express your interest, Halliburton is very supportive. My ambition is to become an engineer, so when I decided to take up a part-time degree, I better sponsor me. I'm the chairperson for WISE in Singapore, which stands for Women Sharing Excellence. One of our key objectives is to retain women in the industry. So we do that by organising events such as networking lunches for female employees to get to know each other and interact with each other. On top of that, we also have events where we invite female leaders in to share about their experiences within the organisation. The company encourages employees across all levels to generate improvement ideas or identify potential improvement opportunities. The ideas generated can be ranged from safety, quality, delivery, cost, and people development. For example, one of the safety improvement ideas we generated is to come up with a family wall, and each of us put photos of our loved ones to remind ourselves that we work hard, it's not just for ourselves, but also to support our families back home, so that it is important that we work safely and go back home safely. The company culture is one of openness. We also adopt an open door policy where we want to make our employees feel comfortable coming to their supervisors and their managers for discussion. At Halliburton, we empower our young engineers by encouraging them to take on the lead role in their projects. Young engineers are like raw gems. If we trust them, engage them, and empower them, we'll truly bring up the shine in them.